with Scorpio to Robin's Realm readings. I'm here because um, this is your New Year's Eve reading, and I'm going to be doing the normal layout for you, where you get the five cards that, well, I guess I better shuffle these dudes, that represent your personal energy and what you're dealing with, and then five cards of the energies that you can expect to come towards you, uh, all through experiences, individuals, and uh, I have a special gift for you. You're the only ones that are getting the online shuffle. Everybody else just had their cards laid out. Why? Because I'm a Scorpio and I know how you guys feel. At least I think I do. I don't know. If you received an email me from me over the holidays, um, it was sent in the wrong format, but it was sent with the right intentions. And uh, as to forgive that, I um, we always learn and move on to new things. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. This is for you. Happy New Year's. Uh, before I start that, I'm going to give you an app. Sacred Geometric Activation Oracle card to give you a highlight on what what is being told to us. These beautiful activation centers within us, the sacred geometry, you know. It's all part of the building blocks of life. Honeys, we are part of the building blocks of life. Let's see what they want to say to us as a center focus. Okay? Let's pull one. Oh, yeah. Empowerment. Look at that. Oh, boy. That even feels like it would be. Okay. 26. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely uniting us with others in the deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. Oh, I love that. That's a badass picture too, isn't it? Number 26. Let me see what the message is for that. Okay. This is your, this is your New Year's Eve gift, guys. Okay. Here's basically something in there that we might need to focus on. In the new, and, oh, wait a minute. Empowerment refers to the process of enabling or giving power to, and we typically associate power with strength. In the new energy, however, strength not only refers to the totality of everything that makes us strong on the outside, like our physical form and shape, but includes the inner qualities of wisdom, balance, flexibility, adaptability, and courage. Our true power is deeply rooted in our knowledge of who we are, our connection to source and self. When we're clear about who we are, we can be clear about what we are here to do. This clarity is empowering. Isn't that beautiful? It says, take a deep, take a, take a breath, go inside yourself for a thoughtful moment. Contemplate all the aspects of you, <clears throat> excuse me, that are supporting you to be, to your fullest expression. Do you speak and live your truth? Are you capable of? Are you comfortable showing up fully as yourself wherever you go? Try dressing up for no particular reason besides celebrating and empowering yourself. Yes, I love that. I do that sometimes. I dress just for me, and I think you should too. I don't worry about what other people think that much. All right, Scorpio, what's representing your power? Whoa. Seven of Cups just popped out. Okay, now you know, no matter what you've been through, you have choices. Our planet is huge. There's a lot of choices. You have many options. Seven of Cups. This one wants to come out as well. 
the moon card, water sign, water sign, Pisces here, the moon. You know, you're going to need very, very clear intentions uh, for your future, um, for January, for your whole future. You're going to need clear intentions, but you're going to also need to, to be doing some some personal rituals, clearing your space, um, dreaming, lucid dreaming, coming up with solutions, meditation, relaxation, things that are dreamy. However, have a very clear vision for yourself. The Ten of Pentacles is showing up for you in your practical side. And that means that you are feeling empowered. You are going to be blessed. You might actually have a new opportunity. This is Kent, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You, it may be in your chart or it may be someone in your life. And this is an offer of stability. Not an offer. This is stability. Period. So, know that deep down inside of you guys, you are all of that. You will always be taken care of as long as you don't stay in dreamy states, stay, you know, um, over drinking or over dreaming or over spending. This is also coming up for you. The Prince of Pentacles. Prince of Coins, an Earth sign. You're going to get an offer from an Earth sign, possibly. Someone supportive, someone grounded, someone faithful. Yeah. This could be in your environment as well. You could be disgusted with somebody that's already been in your life and they have other choices and you, you just uh, can't see what they're doing. But you're offering that. The Prince of Pentacles is offering you some stability. It could be a friend, a neighbor, a family member. It could be a lover. It could be a new lover. It could be a... F I don't know. Um, Scorpio. What else is showing up in your personal, personal realm? Do you feel like you have choices? Do you know how fabulous you are? Don't you forget that. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. King of Cups. <laughs> okay, you guys. Step in it. Stay in it. Remember to be compassionate and kind. Remember to to um, I see this as a Jesus card, but that's just me now. Okay. A king is powerful. A king knows what he's offering. A king knows how to receive. A king is constantly being presented with gifts. This one is presenting his gift. He's holding a cup up. Mm -hmm. It's got the cancer symbol on it. I never could figure out why they would think that it this was cancer, but it could be. Now, some of you Scorpios actually are in love or in a relationship with a cancer. And this person's grounded. They're sensitive and they're kind. And they bring you hope. On a daily basis, they help you to stay centered. And in your heart space, they, it empowers you from within. Let's take a look at what's coming towards you. Ooh, Nine of Cups. <laughs> if you don't already have this, my loves, you got it now. This is someone who is um, satisfied, grounded, happy to be sim single, contented, working hard. It's a uh, fulfillment. It's, it's wish fulfillment. So something has come. Some of you will meet your soulmate. Your soulmate will bring you wish fulfillment and, and deep inner joy. Nine is a deep inner joy. But there's still one cup missing. I wonder where that is. Maybe it's this king who's holding it up. All right. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Again, if you're not feeling this, you might check out your other signs. Um, you know... Because in all honesty, oh my God. And the Ten of Cups. Holy crap. What is going on? Are you guys, <laughs> you have a promise here of a good year. Yes, my loves. Make good choices. 
Yes, yes, you're going to feel really, really, some of you are really, really happy right now. And you have your other, or you have your own grounded, um, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You need anything else? The home, the family, the dependability, the finances, the, the coin, the cup, Ace of Cups. Oh my God. I hope this is true because I'm Scorpio too. You guys. How you feeling? There's that Cancer sign again. That was that cup I told you about. Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Right? So you have coins and cups. Your reading is so full of emotional energy and grounded energy and the only thing is is this moon is is over you interesting interesting please let me know in the comments what the hell i've never I, i've never drawn such a beautiful reading for scorpio ever and i'm like blown away that this is what you have prince of cups king of wands okay so wow Wow. Water signs coming to meet up with water signs, maybe? Bring that yin-yang. See the yin-yang up there in the sky? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a, a, a true and sincere offer coming to you for affection. And you have to decide. You know what I just heard in this spirit? In order to get this and the wish fulfillment you have to know what you want yeah you have to know what you want be prepared set yourself in a position where you're passionate and strong you also have this king of wands coming towards you cardinal fire aries leo Sagittarian, some of you may be finding your wish fulfillment and your complete joy and satisfaction with a fire energy that could be some of you. Not all of you. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is quite amazing. Uh, quite an am This is quite fantastic, actually. Hmm. Why did Scorpio get the Seven of Cups? One more. Things have already been shuffled like crazy, you guys. Remember your empowerment? Do you think the Ten of Coins and Ten of Cups is enough empowerment? Do you think that the King of Cups and the King of Wands is enough empowerment? I do. You got the Seven of Cups because you have to decide how to get all the burden off of you. You've been, been in a dreamy state, in some kind of a burden state. So the, uh, you need to decide where you're going to go with that. Page of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune has come to tell you, yes, you will be able to get past all that. Move into love. What in the world? I don't even need clarifications on this. Oh my God, you guys, it's so beautiful. I'm bringing you three of the Gilded Reverie Lenormand cards. What they are is um, mystery cards for you. Kind of give you an idea of what you don't see, what's around you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is January going to look like for now? You will have a bridge over to a new understanding, a new experience. You'll have someone offer you a way out, offer you their hand, give you some advice. This is the master number 11 when it's all, in, all is said and done. 9, 10, 11. You may actually be in touch with a soulmate. Watch out for things that get in your way and steal away your peace. Things that have always been there. Things that need to be cleared away. The mice are like a... They come in and very insidiously, very quietly. They come in and they steal away your joy. They eat away at your important papers. They can eat a signature off of a... You know, get in a drawer and eat a signature. Just an example. Eat the signature off of a will. So go and do some house cleaning. Get rid of the rats. Get rid of the mice. Clear up things that are eating at you financially, spiritually. Anything. That could be there consistently. Keep your eyes peeled, your scorp. You know, right? And three. 
And this is movement. This is movement away. A number 10, you got three tens in your reading. Um, movement away from things that don't serve you, things that don't work, changing something, and accepting an offer of love. You got lots of passion, a lot, not a lot of passion, but you are all you are ruled by passion, so why not? But what I'm saying is, if this King of Wands comes in, um, he's going to help this King of Cups. Oh yeah, yeah. This is you getting the help that you finally need. This is you getting the love that you finally deserve. This is you crossing the bridge. Crossing the bridge of one understanding to another. Creating a whole new environment. Setting up. Because you're going through a karmic shift. Romance angels. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. January. New love. You have new love coming. A new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. I expect that to happen. Because when you do go through trial. And you do walk away from something that didn't serve you. You open the door for Provided you prepare yourself and get ready for it. For new love. Calling in your soulmate. It's an act. It's a way of doing it. It's a way of setting up your frequency. So that they can find you. They need to be of the same energy. The same goal, kind of a, You know. Calling in your soulmate. Soulmates are like soulmates. Forever. Right? And getting over unrequited love. That was me. Unrequited love. I loved you, but you didn't love me back. I don't think so. One more for Scorpio. Scorpio, P.O., P.O., P.O. One of my favorite readers does that. Scorpio, P.O., P.O., and I love that. I just hug her. Here we go. One more. And release that X. Let them go. 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 One more card for you because I love you so much. Let's see what we get for Archangel Guidance over your empowerment to do this karmic shift, to release, to call in a soulmate, to find new love, to cross that bridge, to bring in passion, and to get them nine and ten of cups and that ace of cups. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel. No doubt. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Scorpio, that's your reading. If you'd like a reading from me, hit me up in my email, please. It's in the box below. I wish you Happy New Year. Love you so. Bye from Robin's Realm.